with 16 year legal background as a business lawyer and eight of those as a business owner, Jeremy's definitely learned a thing or two about running a business, not just being a lawyer. So my name is Jeremy Shetton, as Paula said, and I'm a lawyer and I am an entrepreneur as well. I've, I've started three businesses, uh, as well, yeah, including my law firm, and I'm very proud of, of those. So I wanted to start out with this statistic, and this is the fact that it's six times cheaper for us to get repeat work from an existing client than to get new work from a, from a new client. In other areas, in accounting, it's nine times cheaper. In products like your, 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 um, your shops like Woolworths and Coles, you know, it's 15 times cheaper to get people coming back. And it's something that's often missed in business. It doesn't matter whether you're a personal injury lawyer, a family lawyer, a commercial lawyer, you know, a criminal lawyer, uh, there is always scope to get repeat work from those clients. In family law, um, it, you know, it may not be the repeat work from that existing client, uh, it might be more work from their friends and family. It might be more referrals from them, but there's an opportunity to do that. So I'd really encourage you to think about that and think about ways that you can tap your existing market. I'm going to talk about some of those today uh, to get repeat work from, from those existing clients. So I'm going to talk about three, three uh, really important topics today. The first is the five key metrics that you need to know to grow your law firm. The second is how to master referral referral relationships. And the third one is to generate um, you know, ways to generate repeat business. And I'm going to run you through the example of what we do. 